Okay, so we are on day two of our posture week and we were talking about pecs yesterday and how to release your pecs and how to um, make sure that that tightness that pulls your shoulder forward um, is released. So we're releasing the pecs and we're starting to get a better line with our shoulder. Today we're going to look at where should your shoulders be and most people seem to be a little bit amiss as to where your shoulder position is. So shoulders come forward and the shoulder width narrows, shoulders go relaxed and where they should be in the shoulder width is at its widest point and then as we start to pull the shoulders back the shoulder width narrows okay now what we constantly see at the moment is that people are round shoulders and then what they want to do to correct that is pull their shoulders back and if i turn side on you'll see that basically what's happened is if i'm round shoulders here and then to correct it, I pull the shoulders back. I still end up with that pokey chin forward. So what we're really after is, if you find that your shoulders are tight and they're curved and they're forward, like I'm exaggerating mine here, then what you want to do is relax them to their widest point. That is where your set point should be for your shoulders. So if you're not sure where your set point is, that is it at its widest point, because as you start to pull the shoulders back, you'll see that my actual shoulder width starts to narrow again. So that's where we really want to be. We want to be not narrow, not narrow. They want to be at their widest point, okay? So if you are looking in a mirror, that's where you want to think. Short, wide, and then they start to get short again. And just be aware of where that wide set point is. Now, if you've released your pecs, you should be able to get to that wide set point quite easily. And then what we want to do is work the muscles at the back. So we're trying to get that in a bit of a better position. So what I want you to do as you're doing it is to think of how to do that. So I'm just gonna move this away from me a little bit. And generally when we're forward, our palms are turned in. So what you're going to do is turn your palms out. So if I just lower that down a little bit, so I'm going from that position there to that position there. And if you have a look at my shoulder, what generally happens is my shoulder's round and curled. As I turn my palm out, you can see that my shoulder opens up. So if you're looking at the creases in my shirt here, that's me nice and open and wide, and I'm at my widest set point. As I turn my palm hand in, you can see that my pecs are now tight again. So that would be your basic exercise. It would be turn the palm out and relax. Turn the palm out and relax. So from a side viewpoint, what I'm doing is as I turn my arm out, I'm opening up the shoulder and that's allowing the shoulder to sit in a better position. So that's my posture um, advice for today is learn where your set point is so you're not too short you're at your widest point and then you're getting too short again so you want to stay at your widest point and then with that pec release afterwards you want to be turning so that palm goes forward turning that palm forward so you're starting to strengthen back those muscles that are going to hold you there because your shoulders have been used to being here these muscles at the back get weak and we want to start to get them strong again and going and doing a whole heap of exercise is just far too much effort and that's when people find that they get sore so shoulder day or posture day number two working out your set point and then starting to strengthen your muscles so they can hold that set point hope you're enjoying this series and we'll be back again tomorrow